There comes a time when teams just, they get over that hump. They get around the edge there. I'm out of analogies already. This is not good. There comes a time when NFL teams, they look like they're ready to make that next step. And the Buffalo Bills, you know, when you watch them throughout the rest of this, this season during the 2021 NFL season, you think, okay, supremely talented football team, probably honestly one of the best put together teams in the NFL. It could be in the conversation, uh, is definitely in the conversation for being the best constructed roster in football um, you know, on both sides. And you think, okay, They've got talent, but can the coaching get them to the next step? And you see how they lost to the Patriots earlier in the season. And then you see, you know, you know this honestly, it's kind of one of those things where it is a tough division. Like the AFC East is just one of those divisions you're just like, okay. Happens, you understand, um, you know, that it's, it's going to be one of those divisions that it always is going to come down to the wire. The Patriots have, you know, over the last couple of years at least, have – won it like they've just been the best team in the division for a while now but now the bills over the last couple of seasons have just found a way to take over like they have been uh the better team in the in the in the division these last couple of seasons um but then you saw also you know uh after they lost to the patriots they came back and won a couple of weeks later um i think it was like it was it was weird it was like they played a couple of games and they came back but uh, they they beat the patriots but it was kind of a close game 33 to 21 so it's like okay we'll see how the playoffs and what that brings and in the playoffs you need to make a statement like especially in the wild card round and you need to be able to put up points fast and i'll be darned if that isn't exactly what the bills did i mean they were not only pretty much unstoppable but they made that defense, which is a very good defense for the New England Patriots, by the way. They made it look like it was just completely like out of sorts. Like this was a back in like as a Vikings fan, the best way I can relate it to is a 2009 trip to the playoffs where Brett Favre just completely dismantled the Dallas Cowboys in that defense. And that is exactly what this was. This was a we are the way better team and we know it and we're going to come out and we're going to thrash you and that is exactly what the buffalo bills did now if you take a look at the stats here you got a 47 to 17 win over the patriots and josh allen i mean i'm no mathematician but 21 to 25 seems like it's a pretty good completion rate i mean i think what uh 25 times 4 is 100 and 21 times 4 is 84 so 84 percent of his passing uh completing 84 percent of his passes over 300 yards five touchdowns and the special thing to me wasn't how special josh allen was it was the fact they were able to run the football you know uh, devin singletary had 16 carries 81 yards and two touchdowns uh, josh allen also added six carries for 66 yards but it's also like that was such another that was a huge element to it like they needed to be able to run the football and, and be able to set that tone offensively and they did they mixed it up they did a lot of great things dawson knox caught five passes for 89 yards and two touchdowns stefan diggs three for 60 i mean uh, stefan diggs is going to get his we know that uh, isaiah mckenzie three for 45 also gabriel davis i think they threw a slant like it was kind of the dagger in the coffin after the the patriots were looking to come back but i mean that dagger he threw to gabriel davis i i've, I've said it from the beginning Gabriel Davis deserves a lot more targets and a lot more of an opportunity, but you get why, uh, you know, there's just so much talent on this team that uh, it's going to be tough to get him the football sometimes. Tommy Doyle, O-lineman, getting into the mix as well on, on a one-yard touchdown there. You love it. Um, but I think overall, uh, the the Bills were effective, not only just effective. Effective is one thing, uh, but they were they were able to do whatever they wanted um, with uh, in this game. And you love, you absolutely love it because they are uh, not only a tough team, but they you know that they can put up points you know that they can play tough defense uh and, and it really if you can get to the point where you can put up a ton of points and you even just have an average defense is one thing but the bills have a good defense and they look like they are ready to take the next step they are absolutely ready for a deep playoff run here um and i think i was just i was i was kind of expecting a close game but then when i saw what the bills done i'm like this is a statement right here like this is a hey uh we're better than you we've been better than you and uh we're, it's time that we show it and then you look on defensively on the defensive side of the football tremaine edmonds led the team with eight tackles matt milano had five as well levi wallace had five tackles and an interception uh you saw a sack from carlos basham jr um you know I, gregory Rousseau, the the fantastic rookie this year you know this just this entire team here uh this defense is just so tough it, it really is you can see if you watch the tape they put pressure on mac jones um who was who was rather uh, i mean he wasn't impressive but he also wasn't the worst i mean i'm a vikings fan i deal with bad quarterbacks but uh, mac jones finished the night 24 of 38 for 232 two, two teddies and two interceptions um i felt like you know kendrick Bourne had a couple of touchdowns for the patriots i felt like ramondre stevenson i mean he just 
they need to kind of I, I feel like they need to give him the ball more but I don't know. I could be wrong. But at the end of the day, I feel like the Patriots just did not look a, a sort. That defense was not able to figure it out. And overall, I mean, this this Buffalo Bills offense just went to work. Like, it just went to work and took care of business. And you have a lot of respect for an offense that keeps their foot on the throats of those that they're playing and just keeps piling up the points. Now, if they can continue to play solid defense, put up points like this, I mean... We, we've already said the Bills are ready. They're ready for a deep playoff run, but they could be Super Bowl bound if that offense continues to put up points and that defense is just locked down, locked down. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. Uh, we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome, and we love every single one of you. Check out our website at thesportsbriefpodcast.com. Also in the description down below, you'll find all of our social media platforms, so give us a like and a follow there. We would greatly appreciate it. Also in the description is our link to our iTunes. That was a crooked finger. It's, uh, there we go. Um, that, uh, you find the link to our iTunes. You guys can give us a, um, a listen and a sub there. And also, if you have anything else you would like us to cover, make sure you send us an email at the sportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below, and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about the Buffalo Bills being ready.